is this? Have I learned anything from this experience? Well, first one is, I learned to use a skid steer for the first time, more like a bobcat. And also my first experience of large ground clearance, never done this sort of thing before. Um, so it just goes to show you can put your mind and do anything you want. Uh, you just gotta have a bit of courage to take on a machine or take on something that you think might be a bit too much. I've achieved um, all the objectives that I set out to do. I will get some growth coming back through, that's obvious, but not as bad. It won't be nothing like it was if I would have left it. When you all drop materials, like the stones, the stone chipping, the, you give an estimation, uh, you work out what you want, and then they deliver more. <laughs> Uh, nothing wrong with that. I'm not complaining because normally it's usually the other way around. You know, they're, they're to the, you know, to the ton. So I think um, after the delay of the chippings, I think the guy said, well, just put some extra on. It worked in my favor in the end. Now would be a good time to start planting trees. Uh, so we have some plans about different types of tree. Uh, we have cherry tree here. Uh, we have two apple trees. They look like they're on their way out. Again, they should have been cut back trimmed, pruned right back. If you leave an apple tree or a cherry tree for too long, then it become very spindly. And um, well, the fruit is not that good because the tree is putting the energy into growing, not putting energy into the fruit. But I've enjoyed it, really enjoyed it. It makes a change <clears throat> from doing the, something that you do as a job every day but it's nice to break away from that and get out and do what you really want to do planning the garden i think will be the next one that will be the <clears throat> jeans type of thing i know that there are some exotic plants this plant the red one remember the one i have to keep for my wife um there are some exotic plants here actually uh, we've kept most of them as well as the uh unfortunately just a fraction of the amount of tulips that we had originally but the ground is like an absolute quadmire at the moment you can't even walk on it and all my work as i explained the other day has been undone by driving around again but anyway listen to the birds isn't that beautiful every morning you can wake up to that and yesterday remember i told you that I had to get everything done in the afternoon because they were collecting the machine. Sod's law, look. They didn't collect it. So if the stuff would have turned up yesterday late and then you would start moving around, I guarantee that they would have come for this machine. <laughs> See, this is Ireland. Nothing is predictable here. From deliveries to we're going to collect the machine today, it's gone. All different, nothing. Uh, so you gotta take everything with a pinch of salt. That's the fun of living here. <laughs> Order materials up early. Don't expect them to turn up on time. And then when you hire something, when they say, you know, we'll come and collect it in the afternoon, probably means they won't, probably to the following day. But if you want the machine and you're desperate to hang on to it, they'll collect it. It's always the way. Anyway, I didn't rush. We just got everything done quicker, basically, than what we would have done normally. Anyway, it's all done. Very pleased. Could have done with that vibrating plate now, I come to think of it. And uh, I have to finish my well off. Uh, the sand of the well has got to be sealed. So that means you've got to come up with a couple of courses of engineering bricks up and then basically cap it off so you have uh, engineering bricks and then you have a slope inside to allow any water to rain to run off and of course i've got the cover here i don't think that's the correct cover i think that's one that i had lying around i've got a delivery of uh, kerosene coming oil from the uh, boiler that's coming today man that's such a price uh it's what i pay I got, I'm getting 500 litres in, 
and it's 560 euros. <laughs> and my tank holds 900, but I've only got 500 because I think there's probably about 300 liters left. Of course, I have all the technology because this stick, this stick here, you can see, well, this dip is my dipping stick. <laughs> so the only way I can tell the fuel is by dipping the um, stick into there. Don't worry, I won't be doing any welding in here. So I had the water tested uh, two, three, two or three days ago. So the county council come round from Roscommon and they took samples from the well. The first thing, thing she said was, oh, this water looks really bad, <laughs> which is not encouraging to hear. Uh, so I should get the lab results back uh, or the email uh, within a couple of uh, weeks, I suppose. And then they will tell me exactly what's in the water. Particle filter is a must, you can see that. There's uh, sandy deposits in the water itself. So then once we get the results back from the people, then I got to send the results to the uh, filtration people and they will look at it and then work out from there what type of filtration I will need. With my machine. My toy is gone. Anyway, I fixed the Mickey Mouse light that I didn't install correctly the first time, right? And I've just seen Jim. He's just seen me, so he will be coming down any moment now. And my cows. Every time they hear the machine or a truck pull up, they always come to the gate. I think they think it's feeding time. Only young bulls, poor buggers. They'll end up in someone's beef burgers later on. But anyway. They're very curious cows, very curious. And now the oil is turned up. There you go, oil delivery, fantastic. Full tank of kerosene, so that will keep me going for a few more months. Uh, yeah, I guess right. Oh well, well it's a 900 tank, it's a third left, so it must be about 500 liters. There you go, it's done. So the light's done, kerosene's full up. I suppose I have to go around uh, and sort someone's electrics out now. Apparently someone has um, decided to take all their sockets off the wall trying to find a fault. Anyway, let's give it some work.